I solemnly urge you in the presence of God and Christ Jesus. Preach the Word of God. Be about your work. Don't stop, even if the time seems unfavorable. Patiently correct. Rebuke sin with authority. And encourage your people with solid Bible teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and preach the whole counsel of God and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. For over 2,000 years, pastors have carried the light of the gospel through opposition, persecution, and every flaming arrow of the enemy. The preaching of God's Word has transformed lives, brought great revival, and shaped the values and conscience of our nation. But sadly, now more than ever, our nation is experiencing a period of spiritual darkness. The light of truth has grown dim in the hearts of many because it is no longer being preached from some pulpits. We have been told that we must remain mute on issues relating to civil government. We've been taught to fear man more than God. We've hidden the light of the gospel instead of being a city on a hill. But what would happen if churches threw off the shackles of fear and boldly stood for truth? If 100,000 pastors around the nation joined together and committed to preaching God's word no matter the consequence, Pastors who are unaffected by changing times and the opinions of men, but are empowered by God's enduring Word. What would happen if America's pulpits became aflame with the preaching of righteousness? The great darkness from rejecting God's standards would be expelled, the prayers of God's people heard, our nation healed, and God's blessings restored. The time has come to stand.